say we just need to make this score sheet keep appearing the same way. Um, you know, we have two days, I think, we'll stay in the locker room, and you can't really do much in two days to drastically improve anything other than get the reps in and, you know, learn about all the teams that we've already known. Um, and just got to keep the distribution up, keep all the defenses up, play smart, um, play our game. Uh, definitely big shoes to fill with Sarah McGee and stuff, but um, I don't know, I just wanted to go in and just give my all, like just show people I can do it and stuff and, you know, help out the team and let them not be worried and stuff and just like help them out at the same time. And I'm just going to say I'm going to hate myself if I don't, but, um, you know, the, the three girls that we're about to say goodbye to, you know, I don't follow a lot of numbers, I follow these numbers, but when they read off things like they're now, I guess, 101 and 28 in conference since they've been here. If that's accurate, I mean, you start to hear some of this stuff. And, you know, I want you to know that when they when they said yes, Chris, I'll come to Wichita State, you know, they didn't, they didn't say yes to a program that was doing that yet. I mean, we're starting to get good at that point, and we were kind of looking promising. But, you know, those guys were still part of the generation that said yes to Wichita when it wasn't the coolest thing in the world. And I'm sure every one of them. You know, it was coming here kind of wondering what things would be like, and I, I honestly believe that we gave them a career that was that and then some from what their ex expectations would have been, and I'm so proud that the Shocker fans were always here to support them. Uh, some of the cheers I heard tonight were not quite as gut-wrenching as watching those girls come out and, and get the roses, but really proud that those guys uh, cheered them on like they did, and I, I feel good about the way we got to have senior night tonight.